First alert, weather alert day. It continues, and again, you're looking out at El Paseo. El Paseo's jeweler cam and very gusty winds there. Uh, even in areas that don't normally see a lot of gusty winds. We also have spotty showers and snow showers. A lot of this snow in the highest elevations, but even in the lower elevations, we're seeing snow showers as this cold air mass moves in. It's going to be followed by more precipitation. First wave of this storm, gusty winds. Next wave, cold air. And the last wave will be precipitation lingering basically from tonight into Saturday and even Sunday. Uh, we're looking at temperatures right now in the upper 50s and lower 60s, and it's about as warm as we're going to get. Look at these wind gusts blowing through the valley. Calmer now than they were, but still uh, very strong winds. The strongest winds were in the early morning hours just before dawn. We saw those really powerful gusts also last night. High wind warning has shrunk. It now just includes the Coachella Valley and areas immediately to our south in San Diego. We also still have the winter storm warning. Blizzard warnings. Blizzard warnings in Ventura and L.A. County as we head into Friday. Rainfall here. That's the next thing we're going to be concerned about. Certainly it's going to be cold but we can just bundle up against that. We could see as much as a half an inch to an inch of rain West Valley over several days. Remember, we're going to measure this through Saturday and Sunday, so this is a prolonged period of time. But with the rain coming in in the mountains and the pass, this is going to fill up the washes. So that's where we're going to see wash flooding as a potential, even if we don't get a lot of rain here on the valley floor. Temperatures only in the 50s today. Uh, hazy blowing sand and dust, cloud cover building in. The first alert comfort air seven day forecast weather alert through six o'clock tonight. And then as we head into Friday and Saturday, another first alert weather alert for both of those days due to precipitation, which could be significant. We're likely to see some showers tomorrow, snow showers overnight tonight in the mountains. And again, down to about 2000 feet, you're going to see snow in places that don't the, 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 these places don't normally get snow. And then we're going to see colder conditions even into next week as things dry out. But it looks like the next two significant days will be Friday and Saturday. Jeff. OK, get ready for that. We do not see that type of weather too often uh, here in Southern California. A look now at what we are working on for News Channel 3 this afternoon. Our team's going to be continuing to bring you a complete coverage of the impacts of the uh, heavy winds and cooler weather expected later this week. Today with coverage starting at 4 o'clock. That does it for us right here on News Channel 3 at noon. I'm Jeff Stahl again. I am the desert is next. Have a great rest of the day. A first alert weather alert has been issued for today. Watch the first alert weather team's forecast to see how today's conditions will affect you. Download the first alert weather app to receive alerts and keep watching News Channel 3, the desert's news and weather leader. I want to be the first in my family to graduate college. Your scholarships helped pay for school when I couldn't. You create tomorrow for all of us. Thank you for helping me succeed. Thank you so much for taking a chance on me. I won't let you down.